Neil deGrasse Tyson said we have galaxies in the dark ages that shouldn't be there. So what's wrong? Is the data wrong? Or are our theories wrong? A serious problem has emerged. The James Webb Space Telescope is showing us that there are objects in the observable universe that are older than the universe itself. And that can be in the telescope's images. We see rows and rows of galaxies that, if we follow the old standard models of physics and cosmology, must have been formed long before the Big Bang. One thing is now certain, we have a flaw in the system, and possibly everything we thought about the universe and everything we calculated is wrong. Anyone who loves the cosmos, the infinite mysteries of the universe, and the science surrounding these mysteries is currently experiencing an exciting time, because never before have we had so much evidence that many of our old theories are wrong. They must be wrong because the Webb Telescope is clearly showing us things that should not exist according to these theories. We're at the beginning of a new worldview, and it's possible that our view of science and matter will change completely once again. Officially, the oldest galaxy discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope is called Jade's GSC-13. This galaxy existed around 330 million years after the Big Bang and is one of the earliest and most distant known galaxies. The galaxy was discovered as part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES for short. With this program, researchers are trying to explore the universe as it was in the first 100 million years after the previously assumed Big Bang. It is actually a miracle or a silly coincidence that we are able to observe the universe as it was before this long time. Light takes time to travel through space, and today, thanks to advanced technologies such as the James Webb Telescope, we can see light that has been traveling through the universe for millions or billions of years. With our telescopes, we always see an imprint of the past. Even the light from our nearest stellar neighbors takes years or decades to reach us. So, is it a stroke of luck that we can see galaxies like Jade's GSC-13 and are therefore able to understand the origins of the universe and explore these distant times? But perhaps the universe is constructed in this way precisely because we are supposed to explore it. And perhaps it's the universe itself that has created itself in this way. If this is the case, then the universe is playing a trick on our researchers or it is saying, hey, you didn't look very closely. Perhaps some intelligence in space is now making fun of all the Earthlings who, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, are thinking so hard these days about the cosmos, its beginning, and the development of matter. Galaxies in the dark era that can't be. Let's take a moment to consider how scientists have imagined the universe up to now. There is supposed to be a single starting point at which an undefined potential was formed in one fell swoop. That was the Big Bang. Since then, the universe has been expanding into something that is said to have simply been an indeterminate nothingness before the birth of the universe. The universe is space, and space grows as the universe expands. After the Big Bang, there was supposedly only something like an extremely hot primordial substance, a wobble of gases, heat, and loose particles whizzing around. Although the universe had already cooled down considerably in the first few seconds, it took several hundred years for the first solid pieces of matter to form. Until a point in time that researchers call reionization, the universe was a dark, impenetrable place. A change in the molecular structure finally made the universe permeable to light. This point in time coincides with the birth of the first stars and galaxies because it was the first stars that ionized the surrounding hydrogen gas and thus illuminated the universe. Previous calculations have shown that the universe must have been almost one billion years old at this point. However, the galaxy Jade's GSZ-130 already existed around 330 million years after the Big Bang, and it is not alone. These images shocked everyone. It is unbelievable how many ancient galaxies were found on Webb's first deep images. Dozens, and some researchers are talking about hundreds or thousands of galaxies similar to Jade's GSZ-13 that existed so close to the Big Bang that they shouldn't really exist. Galaxies of this size and luminosity take billions of years to develop. As Neil deGrasse Tyson said, some researchers assumed that after the first measurement results, the new telescope was faulty. But then the truth came out. More and more research groups were able to confirm the results, and a check also showed that Webb was working perfectly. The telescope just wasn't showing researchers what they expected to see. The universe was brightly lit at a supposedly dark time and possibly inhabited by as many galaxies as it is today. Since these shocking truths, we've had a major crisis in cosmology. Researchers who have long doubted the Big Bang welcome the new facts, and others are close to despair. 
Even more impossible, Jade's GSZ-140. It gets worse because Webb doesn't stop finding crazy things in the universe. The Galaxy Jade's GSZ-140 existed 290 million years after the Big Bang, and although the existence of these galaxies has not yet been officially confirmed, we can be sure it's not the oldest galaxy in the universe. Some research groups have reported the discovery of galaxies with redshift values of 20 and possibly even a little more. Jade's GSZ-140 brought other incredible things to light. The galaxy is over 1,600 light-years across, and its brightness is not caused by a supermassive black hole but by young stars. This observation is interesting because the galaxy apparently contains many young stars. Nevertheless, there are too many of them and they are too complexly organized for us to see real baby galaxies that correspond to the old cosmological worldview. The first galaxies should be wild clusters of stars and not perfectly structured galaxies. Researchers are faced with an unsolvable puzzle when it comes to shape, in particular because complex shapes like spirals, disks, spheres, and other forms are supposedly created by countless mergers of smaller star clusters. No sooner have researchers come to terms with this shock than the next impossible galaxy candidate comes along. Jade's GSZ-41 is at least as young or old as its sister galaxy and proves that there are still more old galaxies out there. This raises the question of what researchers are going to do with all these results. At the moment, they're still investigating. The age of the galaxies must be independently confirmed by several research groups before the discovery can be considered official and real. Some scientists have already worked on new explanatory models and presented revisions of old theories. Canadian researcher Rendra Gupta has possibly demonstrated that the universe could also be 26.7 billion years old if we modify a few values and allow for the dynamics of Newtonian physics. Others, such as researcher John Mather, who is also the project leader of the entire James Webb mission, believe that the explanation lies in an earlier formation of stars. Mather is of the opinion that we need to correct our picture of when the first stars and galaxies were formed. But can it really be that the universe practically shot stars into space in a massive birth and then organized them perfectly? We know of so-called starburst galaxies, which produce very large numbers of stars in an extremely short time. But these galaxies are physical exceptions and cannot have been the mathematical standard in the early universe either. This leaves the idea that the universe is infinite and that there was never a beginning. But how did researchers come up with the Big Bang? By and large, we have two researchers to thank for the old standard picture of the cosmos. The American Edwin Hubble and the Belgian Georges Lemaitre. Hubble researched the first newly discovered galaxies in the 1920s. That was just as exciting a time as we are experiencing again today. Before that, mankind thought that the Milky Way was the universe. It must have been shocking to suddenly see beyond the edges of the Milky Way with ever-improving telescopes and discover more and more galaxies there. The world changed abruptly. Even then, Hubble studied the newly discovered galaxies and was astonished to discover that galaxies further away from us were moving away from us at a very specific speed. This is how Hubble first discovered the expansion of the universe. The Belgian priest and researcher Lemaitre found evidence that the universe was created by an event and is not infinite. He put one and one together and came up with the idea that the universe has been drifting apart since the Big Bang and is therefore getting bigger and bigger. How long ago this Big Bang occurred was calculated several times, and the figure was also corrected several times. However, it's always been in the order of 13 to 13.8 billion years. We may have made a mistake here. Rendra Gupta's calculation shows that other approaches are also possible, and science must now face up to these new ideas. So, 100 years ago, we experienced a revolution similar to the one we are experiencing today, and this upheaval is probably not the last one that science will experience. Who knows how many people will see or experience the universe in another 100 or 1,000 years? Will we ever know the whole truth? Some researchers are certain that the universe is completely physically and mathematically understandable and describable. Others ever believe that the universe could be so changeable and so fantastic that we could never force it into specific frames or formulas using our scientific methods. Webb's observations indicate that there are other previously unknown forms of energy or matter in the universe. It's also possible that quantities and physical phenomena change with the passage of time. If this is the case, our chances of understanding the universe through measurements and numbers are slim. 
What remains for us, however, is to explore space as we see it today and to do so as impartially as possible. Our science has reached a dead end now, and a completely new era is dawning, which we will continue to follow with excitement. The revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have stirred profound questions about the nature of our universe and challenged established theories in cosmology. These discoveries not only expand our understanding but also confront us with the limitations of our current knowledge. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unprecedented capabilities, has unveiled a universe that seems to defy conventional explanations. Galaxies like Jade's GSC-13 and Jade's GSC-140, appearing mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang, present a conundrum. According to prevailing models, galaxies of such size and luminosity require billions of years to evolve. Yet here they are, shining brightly in the cosmic dawn. These findings have sparked a crisis in cosmology, forcing scientists to reconsider fundamental assumptions about the universe's origins and development. The concept of the Big Bang, once thought to mark the beginning of everything, now faces scrutiny. Could there have been events before the Big Bang? Or is our understanding of time and space limited by our current observational capabilities? The implications of these discoveries extend beyond astrophysics into philosophy and metaphysics. They challenge our notions of existence and the nature of reality itself. If galaxies existed before the supposed birth of the universe, what does this imply about the structure of time and the fabric of space-time? Moreover, these revelations underscore the humbling fact that our universe is far more complex and mysterious than we previously imagined. It suggests that there may be unknown forces or phenomena at play, waiting to be uncovered by future generations of scientists and explorers. The search for answers has spurred intense debate within the scientific community. Some researchers propose revisions to existing theories, suggesting alternative models that can accommodate these new observations. Canadian researcher Rendra Gupta, for instance, has explored the possibility of adjusting fundamental constants to reconcile the discrepancies observed by JWST. His work challenges us to rethink the very foundations of cosmological theory. Others, like John Mather, advocate for a reinterpretation of the timeline of cosmic evolution. Mather posits that perhaps stars and galaxies formed earlier than previously thought, offering a potential explanation for the early appearance of galaxies like Jade's GSC-13 and Jade's GSC-140. This hypothesis, if proven, would necessitate a paradigm shift in how we perceive the early universe and its development. The JWST's discoveries also raise intriguing questions about the nature of scientific inquiry itself. Are there limits to what we can observe and comprehend using traditional methods? Could there be phenomena beyond our current understanding, waiting to be revealed by future technological advancements? Moreover, the JWST's observations challenge our anthropocentric view of the universe. They suggest that the cosmos may operate according to principles and mechanisms that are vastly different from those familiar to us on Earth. This realization prompts us to reconsider our place in the universe and our role as observers of cosmic phenomena. The implications of these discoveries extend beyond scientific discourse into broader societal and cultural narratives. They inspire wonder and awe, inviting us to contemplate our cosmic origins and the vastness of space. At the same time, they remind us of the fragility and uniqueness of our planet in the grand tapestry of the cosmos. Philosophically, these discoveries force us to confront the limitations of human knowledge and the boundaries of scientific inquiry. They highlight the inherent uncertainty and incompleteness of our understanding of the universe. Yet, they also underscore the power of curiosity and imagination in driving scientific progress and pushing the boundaries of human understanding. From a practical standpoint, the JWST's findings have significant implications for future space exploration and astronomical research. They underscore the importance of investing in cutting-edge technologies and instruments that can unveil the hidden mysteries of the cosmos. They also emphasize the collaborative nature of scientific inquiry, where researchers from diverse disciplines work together to unravel the complexities of the universe. Ethically, these discoveries raise questions about our responsibilities as stewards of the cosmos. How should we approach the exploration and potential exploitation of distant worlds and resources? 
What ethical frameworks should guide our interactions with extraterrestrial environments and civilizations, if they exist? Technologically, the JWST represents a triumph of human ingenuity and perseverance. Its intricate design and precise instruments enable it to capture detailed images of distant galaxies and cosmic phenomena. As we marvel at these images, we are reminded of the vast distances and timescales involved in cosmic evolution. The JWST's discoveries also offer a glimpse into the future of space exploration and astronomy. They inspire new generations of scientists and engineers to push the boundaries of knowledge and explore the unknown frontiers of the universe. They remind us that the quest for understanding is an ongoing journey, with each discovery paving the way for new questions and insights. In conclusion, the revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope have opened a new chapter in our exploration of the cosmos. They challenge our preconceived notions of the universe's origins and evolution, inviting us to rethink fundamental concepts in cosmology. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, we embark on a journey of discovery that promises to redefine our understanding of the universe and our place within it.